hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about method overloading in java method overloading mean we can have multiple method and they share the same name and to have method overloading we have to follow few rules like number one we can overload the method by changing the number of parameter of the method like an example if we have one method called add and which is taking one parameter then we can overload the method by changing the number of parameter so we can have another method called add which can take two parameters so we are overloading this add method by changing the number of parameter of the method where the first one having one parameter and second one having two parameter also we can overload the method by changing the data type of the parameter like an example we can have another method overloaded with the same name but this time we can overload that by changing the data type like this method can take integer and double as parameter so here we are overloading another add method by changing the data type of the parameter where this one's taking integer integer but here we are passing integer and double and this way we also can overload the method and we can also overload the method by changing the sequence of data type of the parameter like an example we can overload another add method and this time we can change the sequence of the data type like we can have double and integer in sequence so previously this method taking integer double in sequence now we are changing the sequence and making it double integer and this way we also can overload the method and the main benefit of overloading the method is we can extend the functionality of the method like an example we are extending the functionality of the add method where we can add one integer number even two integer number also it can take integer and double and add those two numbers so we are extending the functionality of the add method by overloading the method in this example program we are overloading the method add by changing the number of parameter where the first one having one parameter second one having two parameters and third one having three parameters and whenever we pass one parameter to the method it will add the number to itself and print the output and whenever we pass two numbers to the method it will add those two number and print the output and whenever we pass three parameter to the method it will add the three number and print the output so now inside the main method i'm going to create one object of the test class t1 so i'm going to write test t1 equal new test and then I'm going to use the object and call the add method and this time we're going to pass only one parameter and then we're going to again call the method and now I'm going to pass two parameters to the method then again I'm going to call the add method and I'm going to pass three parameters so whenever we are passing one parameter to the method it will invoke the variant of the overloaded method where it is taking one parameter and whenever we are passing two parameter it will invoke the variant which is taking two parameters and whenever we are passing three parameters to the method it will invoke the variant which is taking three parameters so i'm gonna save the program now i'm gonna compile and run the program so you can see the output second the addition is three and the third addition is six so this way we can overload the method by changing the number of parameter and we can extend the functionality of that method so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one Thank you.